Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video. I am very happy to say that the YouTube channel has been a success, that not only have people viewed my videos, but people have actually subscribed. I cannot believe that I get to say <laughs> that I have subscribers. Uh, it, it's a great feeling. I'm very happy. I'm also very excited to say that uh, the this, this studio is coming together, that I will be doing some updates and let you guys in on how that is going uh, as details come together. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting on a few lights and some backdrops and things, uh, stuff that I'm trying to you know, borrow or, or get from people without going and just buying the whole setup. So uh, yeah, once I do that, I'll be sure to include you guys in. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe if you wanna stay in the loop. I personally would love it if you stayed in the loop because I would love to keep talking with you guys uh, about stuff that I believe is important to uh, photography and photographers uh, and to our community. Uh, on that point, that's kind of how I want to lead into today's subject. I want to take the chance to talk about something uh, that is very personal and that's my experience with discouragement as a photographer. Uh, if any of this rings true for you, I hope that it's helpful. Uh, if not, I hope that it's just a chance uh, for insight for understanding uh, and that it creates a chance for empathy for you to be able to understand how you know a photographer like me uh, has handled the past 12 months. Uh, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, the past year of my life has been wild. I, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how wild. It started with you know going around the, the world and the country doing project management and then just overnight in less than 24 hours losing my job. Uh, it proceeded after that to uh, include my parents divorcing. It went from there to a period of unemployment and not knowing what was gonna happen, uh, getting employed again and going back to traveling, but going all over the state doing different work. Um, and all of that hasn't really been photography related. So how that has impacted my photography is that as an artist it's been very difficult to take all of that and to be able to find the chance to really focus in on why I make photographs uh, but what's fascinating is that even though that hasn't happened I've had so much time to actually think about wanting to go make photographs and wanting to do photography and grow with it that it's pushed me to a moment of, I guess, being in something like a crucible. It's kind of helped me refine and, and consistently ask and push myself to ask the question of why do I make photographs? Why, like, why are they important to me? And the, the recognition that I've come to is that I believe the reason photographs are important to me is because I think that I believe in magical. Now, that's gonna sound crazy, I know. Like, Dean, okay, he's gonna start a magician channel, he's gonna talk about, you know, weird stuff, but it's it's not like that, I, I promise. When, when I say that for me, that I've come to the point of recognizing photographs are magical, it's because, you know, I've always seen or interpreted magic as, as something that people, you know, blend their imagination and their creativity in with hope, uh, or with the idea that anything can be achieved. And I think what's fascinating is that for me, photographs have a bit of that because photographs are their own thing. You know, they don't have a beginning, middle, and end like a book. They don't have, you know, just pages and they're not even video. They're, they're, not, they're not a complete story. They're not a complete narrative. Uh, if anything, they are a syllable of a word in a sentence, in a chapter, in, in a book, um, in a library of the life of humanity or, or the story of humanity. And I think that's pretty powerful because in spite of being that small and being that common today, photographs carry such, such a beautiful energy about them. Um, and I think that's because for me, I see photographs as thresholds. I've come to see them as thresholds as invitations for myself to see the world, but also for the world to see itself 
uh, through my experiences, through my life, through my hopes and failures, through my ups and downs. And I believe that my photographs are the direct result of everything that I have experienced or been through till now. I'm going to make the assumption and the assertion that the same is true for you. And the reason why I believe that's real is because for me, I see the photographic community at, as a community, uh, like a DNA helix. You know, it, it, we, we are not just one cell. We are a multiple strands, a vast amounts of information uh, contained in tiny, tiny little things. Uh, but together, you know, we make up uh, such an incredible amount of data. We, we make up a, a very significant and important thing uh, to what it means to be human, to what it means to be a human. Uh, I think our capacity to express ourselves is so enriching when it's done through photography because you know our life our emotions our upbringing uh, our circumstances all of that has built into and it has informed how we take the photos that we do i think that's important and i believe it's important because i have been in a place where that has been important to me to to discover uh, if you have felt that way i hope that hearing some of this and hearing a little bit about how I view images uh, has been uh, inspiring or, or been encouraging. And I really hope that going forward, a lot of what I do on here uh, seeks to do that, seeks to find the place between my experience and what I believe is uh, the truths that our community operates and lives by which is that we love making photographs. We, we believe in the importance of making photographs. We believe in the importance of art. I believe in the importance of art. Uh, I believe that visual art has been a foundational com component to so much of human history, uh, from cave paintings to hieroglyphics, uh, all the way up until Instagram. I believe that we are gifted an incredible opportunity to be the narrators, to be the storytellers, to be the, not the discoverers, but the revealers of the human experience and the individuals who are blessed with the chance to do that through our own eyes and through our own lives. So with that, I just want to tell you guys again, thank you for tuning into this. Thank you for participating in this. And thank you for talking with me when I interact with you guys on online with you know Clubhouse and social media. It, it's so great that this is sort of coming together from that. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would, I would love to continue to talk about stuff like this and even to uh, talk with you guys about your experiences being a photographer. Uh, if you have anything about this that's stuck out to you or that you want to discuss, leave a comment. I would love to talk with you about that as well. Um, and if you don't want to do that but want to connect personally, one-on-one, -on -one, please find me on social media. I, I always make myself as available as I can. Um, so yeah, again, thank you. I, I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. And I hope that w the next time you pick up your camera, you go outside and you're a little more inspired. Uh, than you were before you picked it up. Okay? Have a great day.